You're listening to Love, Guns and Freedom with Lucas Zana on United States FM Network. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. And by the way, it happens on the streets of Chicago every day. So, all of us need to demand a Congress brave enough to stand up to the gun lobby's lies. All of us need to stand up and protect its citizens. All of us need to demand governors and legislators and businesses do their part to make our community safer. We need the wide majority of responsible gun owners who grieve with us every time this happens and feel like your views are not being properly represented to join with us to demand something better. You're listening to Love, Guns and Freedom with Luca Zanna on KTOX 1340 AM and on United States FM Network. Second hour, hour about guns training. You know, for me, this is a serious matter, as I said. I want to try to use this opportunity, being on the air, not to entertain or to just talk about guns. You know, you can find great shows out there uh, to buy the latest gun. No, for me, the gun and the rifle and the shotgun, they are tools. Tools to defend freedom, tools to defend this republic, tools to defend life. That's the bottom line. And I want to use uh, really practical tips, practical ideas. You know, we talk in this hour about the Second Amendment, about the philosophy and also the right you know and the gun laws and all the different attacks that we are facing against in our rights but also the best important most important thing i want to try to do is try to bring you experts people who can share their experience to improve you as gun owners as law-abiding citizen as law-abiding america ready to defend our property our families and our rights today i have with me interesting guy really seriously um i receive a lot of newsletters i'm always looking for products ideas and i said i do not bring you here sponsors because uh, for me you know i want to be always honest when i talk about items or products i don't want to be feeling you know somehow vinculated to tell you things just because somebody paid me no the first things i want to bring you here is the truth so i have an interesting product i think it's really interesting because there is a kind of unique on the market for the type of information that you can get available for the regular American. It's called uh, dr Driven, Driven from Our Homes. It's a DVD and also a little booklet. And uh, there is also much more. There's also a website, a company behind, and uh, several ind individuals that they have interesting background uh, coming from a military background. Now, let me go straight to the point. His name is Chad Cooper, and Chad is here. Chad, are you here? Yes. Nice to meet you, Chad. Thanks for having me on. Very good, very good. And uh, as you heard about pretty much what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to bring uh, people, expert information for the average American or even people that is not exactly the average, but they want to enrich themselves to learn more and to have a different type of tools to defend themselves, this republic, and our properties and lives. That's the bottom line. This is the hour about guns. So it is not a hobby. We are not here shooting for fun. I mean, I like to have fun too when I shoot, but mostly for me, it's a duty and also an opportunity as a tool. Now, give us a little bit about your background because you're an interesting guy. You know, you're not just a business owner, but also you have an interesting background. Go ahead, please. Talk about yourself briefly. Absolutely. Yeah, my background is that I used to be a police officer, and then I joined the Air Force, and uh, I worked in the intelligence community for the Air Force, NSA, and um, after I got out, I was a defense contractor, and I did that for four years. Um, part of my job was to train um, the guys still in uniform, so I traveled all around the world. I went to the Middle East, I went to uh, South Korea, and, and, and many bases in between. Uh, teaching them and showing them what they need to do to be, you know, top-notch. Um, and along the way, I kind of woke up. Uh, I, that's what I call my, I had my awakening, and I realized that we were, uh, as citizens and as a country, we're, we were in a, at least I was, in a bad position. I wasn't prepared for what I think is, is shortly to come upon us. Um, uh, Barack Obama had just taken office the first time, and Gosh, it was kind of uh, it, it kind of rattled my bones and and motivated me to start getting ready, and and that started with the basics. And I'm sure your listeners know about food preparation, water purification, uh, first aid, 
Um, and part of that firearms, you know, and all of the training that goes along with it, training is the most important thing you can get. It's the only thing you can take with you everywhere. You can lose items, you, you can have stuff taken away from you, but your, your knowledge goes with you everywhere. And so I started getting training, and, and part of what goes along when people start thinking about prepping and, and being prepared for a, you know, a bad situation, whether it be an end-of-the-world situation or global economic collapse or, or a, a, a tyrannical government, is people start thinking about bugging out. And uh, to that end, I, I purchased a remote property out in the mountains, and I, I started stocking it and, and building out that property and, and learning and learning and learning as I, as I went along the way. And um, that's, that's kind of my background right there, and, and that's what spurred me to want to produce a video that kind of encapsulates the types of things that I've learned but p- presented in a way that is really palatable so people can understand. It's one thing to just learn first aid, to learn how to apply a tourniquet. It's a completely other thing to do it in practice. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. Because it's true. Now, you can read the books uh, many times. You can watch the video. You think, okay, now I know how to do it. But till you don't do it really a few times and you start to make it like, you know, when you have your uh, training, uh, you have to have these uh, thousands of uh, repetitions so become muscle memory. Same story should be also when you apply a tourniquet or you do something that under stress, you're not going to think, now let me read the instructions. How do I apply a tourniquet? No, you're going to do automatically because hopefully you've done already a hundred times, you know. So, but at least uh, you want to give them the tool because I tell you I, I want to be honest you know I really I didn't bring you here because you are a sponsor but I think because you have for sure I found a good niche that uh, people I mean we're talking about the average American okay you had a chance through uh, the, the government to have training and to have probably the information and the skills the average person doesn't have I'm talking about mom and pop here people that they have normal lives and they don't do this for a living at the same time they would like to have the basics okay at least the basics to say if I had to prepare my family if I had to take care of myself son maybe he got a shot he got shot or got wounded we need to evacuate to have some basics that we are not going to be completely sitting ducks that's the point and I think on this one I give you a 10 because you know you found something that I think is very useful and we need it that's why I wanted to bring you in now uh, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions uh, you also have a website uh, I would like to please you can share it because also people can go there and check you out go ahead give the yeah, website if people want to learn about it it's uh, driven dvd.com d-r-i-v-e-n mm-hmm. dvd.com driven dvd.com when they go to the landing page, they'll see me. I'm okay. the guy talking right there. I'm walking on the railroad tracks, and I'm kind of going to tell you a little bit about what's in the film. But it, it's been fun. I, I won't say I won't lie. I had a great time filming it, but I learned so much. One of the main characters that's in it, he's actually a no kidding army ranger. Mm-hmm. He used to work for Blackwater. And I'm sorry. Yes, I'm there. I'm here. Go ahead, please. Okay. Yeah, he's a former Army Ranger, uh, used to work for Blackwater as a defense contractor. He's employed by the U.S. government to um, provide security to high-profile uh, people in the State Department. The guy's really awesome, and he goes along with me and my family as we bug out to a remote location. And along the way, we, we run into all kinds of problems and trouble. We run out of gas. We encounter um, fire, you know, somebody shoots at us as we go, we, we get someone wounded, we finally get to our bug out location and kind of get settled in. We, we talk about how to set up a perimeter, how to reinforce your house, um, things to look for, weak points. And then we actually um, stage a rescue where we go to uh, another town and try to, to see if we're able to help them. So we go through all of the steps, and and every scene isn't just for theatrics. Every scene is set up to teach, and you can learn something in every single scene. And and what's great, as you mentioned earlier, is the the book that goes with it. It fills in all the gaps. It explains to you exactly what we're doing and the philosophy behind it, why we're doing what we're doing in this particular scene. And one of the things that drives me crazy as a former... um, military guy is when I'm watching Hollywood shows and I see that there's something that's not authentic, the uniforms are wrong or the guy's saluting funny, those types of things drive me crazy. And 
and to the best possible that we could possibly do in this video, it's authentic. Oh, you, Everything is exactly how you should do it. Yes. So I, I, you could actually model the training after what we're doing. I agree. I agree. You know, as I tell you, uh, I like the booklet probably even more than the DVD. Don't get me wrong. A DVD is great because you can see, but the booklet is with you and is really complimentary because it fills a lot of gaps and becomes a lot of contents, you know, that uh, you can uh, have ready to go even when uh, you don't watch the DVD. So anyway, and, uh, you know, talking about a little bit, about some of the topics you know because of course uh, i invite people to at least uh, go to your website check it out and i said this is not a sponsor i'm here just to try to share information that i really want people to have a chance that's it okay so at least check it out check you know it is not uh, like the typical um, movie that you can buy you know for ten dollars uh, it's a little more expensive but it's of course it's a tactical and very unique content and uh, it is not mass produced okay this is for a niche uh, how much you selling it for if you can please share for me well, yeah it's it normally sells for 49.99 mm -hmm. and that includes the book and the dvd uh it's on sale right now for uh ten dollars off so it's for 39.99 that price includes the shipping and like you said this is not your typical mass produced um video it is professionally produced absolutely professional all of the video and stuff is and it's not cheap to film these types of things and I think it really does, like you said, it, it provides a great value. And it's a great launching point for helping other people wake up and for helping other people get on board. So say, for instance, you're already high speed. You're already going to gun training. You're already, um, you know, well-trained, but you're having a hard time getting your friends and your family on board. Yeah. This is the video that you can really take to them and say, hey, watch this with me. And then see what see their reaction to see if they're prepared mm -hmm. or if they're interested because that's what I found is a lot of people are using this as a tool to help bring their friends and family on board. Exactly. And also another important thing, you know, let's say um, there are other people that they're great shots, okay? They think they are very knowledgeable and great riflemen and, you know, great with weapons, small firearms, great. That's just a little part of the equations. I mean, uh, among all your skills that we should have, that's just probably maybe 15%. We need to know much oh, yeah. more. You know, we need to know the communication. First of all, our goal is to avoid confrontation. We are not here to try to, I mean, we are very important. We are valuable. You know, we have fathers and mothers, you know, our children count on us. We don't want to expose ourselves uh, on a necessary risk. But at the same time, of course, if we have to do it, we will do everything to protect us and our communities. But the point that's is... Exa that's exactly the, uh, the point that we drive home in the book is avoid, avoid, avoid. You want to avoid confrontation. You want to avoid the fight. Exactly. That's the safest way to get yourself out of a fight is to get, run away and, and get away from it. But you're talking about some of the skills, about how shooting and being a great shot is just maybe 15% of it. And you're absolutely right. You hit the nail on the head with that. In, in the video, we talk about driving, mm -hmm. how to drive in a convoy, how to, how to do combat driving. If you're being shot at, what do you do if somebody's chasing you? What do you do? Uh, do you, you hit the brakes? Do you drive fast? We, we cover these things. We talk about first aid. We talk about... Um, selection of your of your retreat we talk about when to retreat when do you bug out when do you go and i and i one of the things that i think is kind of neat is the paradigm people say oh i'm not planning on bugging out i'm i'm already at my retreat i'm, I'm staying well you know nobody says you have to die in place exactly that's not my plan exactly. i i have a plan to bug out anywhere that i go i'm looking for exits because you know say i'm already at my retreat Exactly. What happens if somebody comes knocking there? You've yeah. got to have a backup plan to your backup plan. Exactly, exactly. You know, and I'm not a military guy like yourself, but when I was in Italy, I attended military schools. And uh, I'm telling you, you know, there is no place in every type of uh, strategy, in every time in historic battles, there is no place that can be defended forever. If with enough resources and time, every castle, or every retreat can be taken over. That's a fact. So Absolutely. the best yep. defense sometimes always the attack or to be completely agile and uh, mobile. That's the most important thing. So we, we cannot think, okay, I got my everything in one place. No, never put your eggs all in one basket, number one. Never get too attached to a physical place because the only place you need to be attached is your body. And after that, of course, it's your soul. But that's another story. Uh, very good. Lisa, I want to, you know, I know people need to, if they if they're serious, and I say you know, even if we just even out of this book and this DVD, you get one topic that you you can cover and you can fill your gap. 
that would be definitely worth it. Let's say you had to hire an expert that needs to give you some basic information. I'm sure it's going to be more than 39 bucks an hour, okay? So that's the point. <laughs> you can get maybe, let's say, you know, uh, economy stuff, whatever, but think how much money you waste on useless things. Sometimes, you know, you need to think that your training, as you said before, is the most valuable thing because you can carry it with you. I mean, I can always find an extra gun somewhere. You know, I can always snack some ammo somewhere, but training, if I don't have it, it's not, is, is impossible to buy. So consider, if you're serious, uh, I'm not saying that you need to buy the product, but at least go on the website, to the website, check it out, and maybe get a couple of family friends and start to think, even if uh, if you get one of a couple of these topics can help you out, would be definitely worth the investment. That's all I'm saying. I, I, go ahead, please. I, 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 I agree, and I, I want to echo that. It, knowledge, even if you, just like, just like you said, if you get one thing out of it, it's worth 50 bucks. I agree. Just one thing. Um, but, but there's more, um, because when you purchase Driven, you get a free one-month membership. And I know some guys are like, oh, I don't want a membership. Well, bear with me here. It's a free one-month membership to Team Infidel. And what this membership gives you is a ton. And it's, and it's $9 a month if you don't um, cancel. And you can cancel any time. There's no obligation. But take, use the first month for free. After that, this is what you get. You get access to webinars. I have gone out and I hire the best that I can possibly find, and I interview them. I just got done with an interview with a guy named Chris Taylor. He's a combat veteran mm -hmm. uh, attached to the special special operations group, uh, both with the Marines and with the Army. This guy's a PSYOP uh, expert. We went out. Uh, he's been deployed to Afghanistan. We went out and we, we talked. We, we filmed it. We talked about shooting from cover and concealment. We talked about using smoke. That's just one example. I did another interview with a guy that... Um, He's a combat medic. We talked about what the top things are that you need to know as a, uh, for medicine. In battle, we've got a list of five pieces of equipment you absolutely have to have and five things that you need to know in medicine. These guys, I pay them. Uh, every month, these guys get, I, I go out and I find the best that I can possibly find to, to cover a particular topic. I compensate them. It's in the hundreds of dollars. And you get it as part of your membership for just ten dollars a month. You yeah. get articles, you get these webinars, and then you get ten percent off anything that you buy at, at infidelbodyarmor.com. Yes. I own a body armor company. We sell body armor, we sell tactical equipment, you get ten percent off. So if you're gonna buy body armor, it makes sense to be a member. You save ten percent. We're talking, you know, that pays for itself three, four, five times over easily so i think it's a great benefit to be a member and uh you know we're always adding new content to it and if there's something that you're looking for let me know and, and i'll go out and and find the best and we'll interview them and we'll figure out exactly what we need to know and present that to the team i agree i agree and i tell you i appreciate by the way you gave me also um a pass to go there and check it out and i really like the information i tell you i'm not saying that uh, the yeah, I can honestly tell you something. There is probably, I mean, the DVD is great and the book is great, but when you become a member, there is so much more stuff in that every week or every month that it's probably would be like the price of another DVD every month. I mean, it's 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 a lot of information. It's much more detailed and more specific on everything. I, I agree with that. Now, listen, I want to, I know, I, I don't want to give too much away, but since, uh, you know, you are the expert here, at least the person that does this uh, for a living has been doing this for a living, uh, and I would like to share always uh, valuable information. I don't want to just pitch a product here. Of course, I, I'm doing it because I think the product is the key. You know, people need to start, to fr start with that. But let's, I want you to pick maybe a couple couple of topics or maybe even just one topic something that of course this is just an academic way you know we are over the radio and I don't, I don't expect somebody now is driving taking notes and maybe becoming an expert just because he hears on the radio okay but at least it's good to know what you don't know at least give them the import information on some topic that they think they know but it is not so simple as it seems for example pick a topic out of the book or out of DVD driven uh, that you think we can maybe share as practical information on uh, the air with our listeners. Okay, and, and when you mentioned that these people might be driving down the road, and I definitely don't want you pulling out a notebook to, <laughs> to take notes on this, but while you're driving right now, take a look at your position in, in the lane. Are you aware of your 360 around you? Do you know where all the cars are around you? If the person in front of you hit the brakes, really hard 
do you know which lane you could go to immediately? Are you following too close? Would you crash into them? Um, being aware of your surroundings while you're driving is super important. Um, in city driving, it's even more important, and it's really, really difficult to do city driving tactically. Um, here's a couple of tips. Um, never let yourself be boxed in, and, and one of the ways that you can do that is by, even when you come up to a red light or a stop sign, keep enough distance between you and the, and the person in front of you so that you can maneuver your vehicle around them. Don't be afraid to hop a curb if you need to to get out of a, a tough situation like that. And um, uh, something else to keep in mind, too, is if you're a passenger. Uh, you, we've all heard, hey, I'm riding shotgun. You know, that's the passenger in the front seat. Well, they're called riding shotgun for a reason. They're in charge of security for that vehicle. They need to be assisting the driver with with their navigation, with keeping situational awareness and providing overall security um, during the convoy when you're, when you're moving in a, you know, in a combat situation. Um, if the driver becomes incapacitated, say they get shot, the guy who's riding shotgun is responsible for the rest of the safety of that vehicle. So he has to take over driving, driving with your left hand, um, doing the steering wheel, and if possible, getting your leg over and stepping on the gas. Um, it's, take some practice and it's easier said than done. But, um, you know, just being aware of the driving situation, what's around you, um, being, having a backup plan ready to go in the event that the, what if happens, it's if this happened or if that happened, I'm ready to do this. It's an active, um, thing that you can always do and help you practice while you're driving to work, while you're going to, while you're driving to school or while you're driving to church. Always be thinking about that backup plan. What am I going to do if this car pulls out or if this guy slams on the brake? That's how you can help yourself prepare for tactical driving. Exactly. You know, this is very important. Because also, forget about the end of the world. I mean, terrible things can happen anywhere in any big or small city. It doesn't matter where you live. You know, there is always that type of statistics. I guess it's one out of a hundred uh, people that you see every day could be a serial killer. And, uh, you know, they can now, of course, with a economic crisis and uh, depends which part of the world do you live but cities and towns can be trapped and become jungles so you better start to think a little bit uh, updated to that and uh, another important thing i like about this you know we were talking before people say okay i got my bunker i got my home uh, all fortified and whatever but you know you agree with me you don't want when the enemy knock at your door it's already too late you're already technically and tactically lost you don't want even to get to your door. So uh, you, you, you have, I mean, one of the basic is try to stop the, uh, your enemy or your aggressor uh, before. So that's why you also create patrolling and recon uh, teams. Can you articulate a little bit about that? Because maybe I'm sure for the average uh, military guy, this is normal stuff, but for the civilians it's something. What are you talking about? Can you tell me a little bit yeah, about Yeah, you want to, exactly what you said, patrolling, and you want to push out your perimeter. Um, much further away from your house. Uh, like you said, if, if the enemy's at your door, you've already lost. You need to have a buffer between you and the enemy. And so here's one, one thing that we will do. This is part of our plan. Um, when it hits the fan or when we need to set up our, our retreat and go into full force mode is that we will set up barricades that will stop vehicles from getting too close to our retreat. And so one of the ideas that we have or one of the things we're going to be doing is pulling a tractor um, that will block the road. We've got a canal on, on both sides, and the tractor will block the road. So basically any vehicle traffic um, isn't going to be able to make it down this road. Uh, if they try to go around, you know, they'd end up in the ditch on either side of the canal, um, and they're not going to be able to push through the tractor. And so what that makes them do is if they really want to come to us, they're going to be on foot. Now, we've got, we've got a guy uh, it's, it's, the position would be considered an LPOP, and that's a listening post or an observation post. Mm -hmm. For guys that are thinking they're, they're going to be the lone wolf and be able to do this by themselves, forget about it. You can't do it very easily. You're going to want to be in a group, and you're gonna, your group's going to have to have numbers and be able to man this 24-7. But this listening post, observation post, they're providing security. They're awake. They're watching. Hey, we've got a vehicle approaching. Oh, they stopped. Now they're on foot. They're radioing to the, to the guys at the house to let us know, hey, get ready. We've got a guy on foot heading toward our house. That way we can get into position and, and 
engage if need be before they get to the house. Exactly. Um, so there's there's all kinds of things that you can do depending on your your manpower. If you've got a larger group, you can do roving patrols um, all the time. You know where where you're checking your perimeter. You're you're randomly going to different places within your area of control. If you've got a smaller group, maybe you just have a lookout, one person that's that's manning the the lookout, the LPOP, if you will. But um, you know, every situation is going to be different. But what you said was absolutely right. You don't want the enemy to get so close to your house that you can, you don't have time to react. The idea is to push your control out further uh, to give yourselves warning that an enemy or, or potential enemy is is within your AOR, your area of oper- your your area your area of operations. Um, so you can make a decision. Hey, we need to scoot out the back and get to get to a different place, or hey, we need to uh, you know fight these people here and you know you can make the decision based on of uh you know the, the threat that's there but yeah you're right and another important thing that's why another you, you you know sometimes we think okay uh me and my wife and uh, three children we're gonna be fine at least if you have uh, what you have that's fine if your wife at least uh, she's trained and she's on the same mindset and she's not gonna divorce you because you talk all day about this stuff it's a good start let me put it in this way you need to be into because once, once in a while you need to sleep. But also this is the time to find like-minded people. Because you don't want to find uh, last minute some idiots that you don't get along or maybe you are completely on, you know, you don't trust, you know, just because you want to stick together. I mean, the, the, the number, uh, we need to have enough number to create an environment that we can control 24-7. And... Uh, of course, you don't want to over overreach. You don't want to be too many people for many practical reasons because sometimes you know also logistic space and also food and all these things. But at the same time, you want to have people that you are familiar and close, like a family. Don't you think this is the time to get to find each other uh, among? Uh, it's absolutely the time. Yeah, there's no time like right now. To it's in the news. People are already talking about it. They're talking about financial collapse. Just mm-hmm. regular, everyday people that aren't even haven't even thought about tactical mm-hmm. preparedness. They're thinking about it. Everybody's thinking about it. I got a call the other day from a cocktail waitress in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she bought body armor. She said, "I can't believe I'm buying body armor. I must be the, <laughs> the weirdest person in the world that's that's buying this." And I said, "Absolutely not." Uh. I said everybody's buying this stuff right now. Everybody's buying guns. Everybody's, so it's on people's minds. Yeah. And, um, it's a great opportunity to put the feelers out. If you don't already have a group, um, to, to form one, start simple. You know, you don't want to reveal all of your secrets, um, immediately, but, it's a great uh, conversation starter. Exactly. And, and if I can say two things, you know, first of all, start with your family. Your family is the, is the DNA of this country. We need to have strong families that they are prepared. I don't say we need to agree on everything, but when you have at least the understanding of what's going on, and you have preparation and training. I mean, let's not forget the, the American Revolution, okay? Uh, wasn't fought by professional armies. Wasn't fought by people, even the local militia. They were brothers, sisters. I mean, even the women, of course, they are involved but mostly men in on the field and they were like cousins and fathers and son i mean that's what we need to go back okay uh grandfather i mean get veterans go out there at the, at the gun range and try to look for veterans so bring a veteran and say share what you know this is the time we need to unite together because i tell you i've been uh, under this uh, state of mind uh, uh i came to this country 18 years ago it took me two years to wake up and then i say oh gosh this is only a question of minutes, or if not hours, before we're going to hit midnight. And uh, 12 years ago, when I started really to at least uh, get more informed and prepared, people used to laugh at me, and that's fine. I don't care. I couldn't care. But now I realize the same people used to laugh at me. Now they say, wow. And I wish I were wrong. I wish we were wrong. Because this is happening now on many levels. It is not just the economy that is being planned to destroy because they need to destroy this country to create a global government. But also what really now I understand it's more, more dangerous than everything. They're going to try to put us against each other. They going to try to brainwash others to turn us in. Uh, and the fact now that we have this man in the White House 
completely in my opinion. This is just me speaking. Uh, okay, I'm not uh, saying that uh, you, Chad, uh, agrees with me. This is just Luca Zan opinion. This man is a complete Manchurian candidate working for foreign government. He's tried to destroy this country. He's tried to completely destroy us first morally, ethically, and trying to set us up in World War III in a war that we cannot win. And then we're going to be invaded. And I think we already invaded right now because they're going to go after our guns. And this guy is acting as a dictator, is a tyrant, is completely bypassing Congress, and he should be arrested right now, not even impeached. But this is Luca Zana. Now, what I'm really concerned that, unfortunately, some useful idiots, they will pretty much try to follow him and try to enforce these unconstitutional acts. Uh, Chad, did you hear about uh, a few days ago, uh, the, the gentleman, Mr. Obama, that's the only way I can call him, uh, unless I want to go into other names. He passed, uh, he started to write down uh, with his magic pen, his uh, very expensive paper that we are paying for, these executive orders bypassing Congress. What is your opinion on that? As a military man who also took an oath to defend this constitution against all enemies. Go ahead, give you the, the floor. Yes, I am familiar with his uh, proposed, uh, what did he say he was going to bypass Congress? Already did. And, uh, and, and enforce a uh, uh, unconstitutional gun law. Um, yeah, that's what I think about it. I think it's unconstitutional. I, I disagree with it 100%. I, I, I don't even agree with the, <laughs> with the gun laws that we have now. The Constitution clearly says that uh, the right to bear arms is not to be infringed. Mm -hmm. uh, any kind of law is an infringement on our constitutional rights. Um, yeah, it's an outrage. And... Um, and it, I stand with uh, the Texas, we're a Texas company, and I stand with the Texas governor Good. who told Obama, come and get it. Yep. And uh, I think that sums it up. Come yep. and get it. You want to enforce it? We're going to have a civil war on our hands. And that's I'm not calling for civil war. I don't think the time is just yet, but if he wants to, uh, if he wants to pick that fight, we're going to bring it. Exactly. And, you know, and I'm with you, you know, I'm for peace. I'm, you know, nobody's going to have uh, benefits out of a violent confrontation, but these bastards that anyway, they are sending out uh, the useful idiots. I mean, why they're hiding into the bunkers and they want to create this situation. But at the same time, the moment that we completely surrender to completely this sort, this sort of a tyrannical acts, we are done. We are doomed forever. Our next generation is going to be complete slave. We cannot let this happen. People before us died, gave it everything they had to give us some sort of, of, of basic rights that, of course, as you said, every gun loss in the last, I say, since 1934 was the first really slap on our face with the National Firearm Act, you know, that they started to tell us how many inches we can ever gun, but that's another story. But now it's completely at to a new level. And that's why I say, I really, I, I'm, listening, I'm doing this show, I want you to know, and probably my listeners already know, I don't really want to be on the air, I don't care, okay? But I use this as an opportunity because I believe it's my duty. As a new American, I didn't take the same oath uh, like you as a military, but I took a similar oath of to defend this republic the, main, the, main, the, main, the, mo the moment that I became a citizen okay and naturalized America and I tell you this is the best I can do right now I want to inform and spread this message to everybody's listening not just through this station but also through the internet we need all of you I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, if you're gay, transsexual, bisexual, uh, Mormon, uh, Muslim, whatever if you believe that this is a country that we belong that we want to defend for us, for our children. We got to prepare because we are all under tyranny now. And this is a soft tyranny, but pretty soon we're going to face hardcore hard, hard tyranny. And I tell you, my family is from Italy. I was born in Italy and we saw that what means fascism. What we saw when people break into your homes at night and they drag you out and they fill, and, and fill you up with the oil of resin or, or they burn your books or they beat you up because you don't stand up in front of your dictator. Okay. And I don't want this to happen here. And I saw the communist after. So I tell you, I, I smell it like I never could imagine. It's in my DNA. And we are so close now, guys, that I need everybody of you. We need every one of us. So that's why I want to bring you in. And even you say, okay, this is just a book. Like, guess what? It's something. Unless you're going to join tomorrow, you know, you put your five years in the military, you got some basic training, you better start to do something. And just because you bought your rifle, you got your thousand around under the bed, that's not going to make it. We need much more. Chad, sorry for my rant. Sometimes I get kind of emotional. i uh, give you the floor. Whatever you want to say, go ahead. Yeah, final word. I appreciate that. I, I just, I, I echo and, and agree with what, you, what you've been saying. Um, 
having a rifle and having a thousand rounds under the bed, having your food storage, having first aid, having uh, those types of supplies are great. First step, you've got to get the training. Uh, training is key. You've got to get some knowledge on how to use it, how to patrol. You've got a weapon. You've gone to the range. You sat at a bench and you've punched holes in papers. Uh, do you know how to shoot while you're running? Do you know how to shoot while you're prone? Can you do it under pressure? Um, have you ever shot at a human? If you haven't, it's it's difficult. It, and you've got to resolve now that you can do this, that you're committed before the time comes. You've got to commit now and get your get your soul right with God or whatever you believe in before the time comes. Because if you wait till the last minute to do it, you're going to falter. It's it's just going to be that much more difficult. Exactly. So my encouragement to your to your listeners is to get prepared, uh, and that in, that includes purchasing whatever you need to purchase to to round out your your preparations, but then get the training that you need. And I hope, and, that, and my intent is that driven uh, in the book are a tool to help wake you up and re- help you what you are lacking. Sometimes you don't know what you're missing, and so, you, know, you don't know what you don't know. And, and hopefully this book will show you that you don't know it all and say, hey, you know what, I need to get some extra training on this. Or, hey, I didn't even know that this was something I needed to get trained on. Hopefully it wakes you up. That's, that's the goal. And uh, I appreciate the time being on, the, being on air. And um, uh, look, maybe you can have me on again in the future. But I'd be happy to come back, and uh, we are going to be filming the sequel for Driven this spring, and uh, hopefully that'll be ready for production release this summer. And um, God, God willing, we're all around to to watch that come come summertime. Yes, and you know, as a friend, you know, even I don't know you, I consider you a person. I know that you generally try to do the right thing, and uh, I, you know, I consider you a brother in freedom. Okay, even I never met you before, but I know, I, I think just knowing what you do, you're doing the right thing. In my opinion, we need people like you right now. I, 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 I'm on the show. I have one thing. You know, I always say everything I think in a constructive way, and I want to tell you this. You know, because I love your product, I like what you've done, but I would like to give you some. Uh, honest feedback to improve it okay the dvd the book i think is great i like the website is great and your webinar they are top now the only thing if i can tell you i'm not a director guy and i'm not trying to pick on you because you know i tell you just the fact that you tried to do this one it's recommendable if you can in the editing you know there are some part uh, during the movie during the documentary what you want to call it uh, that you have like for example four or five seconds of uh, you know, it's kind of a nice kind of editing job. It looks almost like a movie, but it's almost slow in that way. And uh, I was watching this with several friends, you know, I like to have feedback from people, okay? And they like the information. They say, but the only thing, you know, it would be nice if we could uh, do the editing instead of doing these long pauses between and become almost too much time, more fast editing, a little more cut to the bones. You know what I mean? Just some feedback I wanted to share with you from other watchers that we watched the DVD together. That was a. Uh, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think our sequel is going to hit the nail on the head with your with your feedback. It's it will be much more action packed and uh, fast moving. Um, just a just a little preview on that one. This one, the first one, is a bugging out. Uh, tactical driving, mm-hmm. uh, first aid, uh, strengthening your your retreat, uh, conducting foot patrol and long range reconnaissance, and mission planning. The second, se- the the sequel to it, our second DVD is going to be <clears throat> based on um, um, escape and evasion, and then also tracking. Wow. Uh, the the other side of it, so you will be able to turn the cards on. On, on someone else and be able to track them. We've got Freddie Asuna, who's widely recognized as one of the top trackers in the world, wow. is going to be uh, on, on the video. And um, we're, we're, it, I'm really, really excited. I just finished meeting with the uh, director. I'm the producer. Just finished meeting with the director, and I'm, I'm super stoked for the second one. And I think we're, if we missed the head at all, I, I don't think we did, but, yeah, I can agree with you that there are some slow parts. 
but I think we're going to take care of it. And the, yeah, uh, and, and the and, people and, and will be. And I tell you, Chad, I tell you this because I want you successful. I want people that you know. Sometimes people stop. You know, I don't stop at these little details. I mean, I, I go straight to the point. You know, I try to bypass all this. I didn't buy your movie because you're Steven Spielberg. Okay, I couldn't care less. Oh, okay? you know, and, you know, and we're not Hollywood. Exactly. And I don't. I don't, I don't but, say but, that I am. But the whole yeah. point of this is for training. Exactly. Um, we try to present it in a fun, exciting way that makes it palatable for people to understand. But yeah, but we're Chad, not a Hollywood. But Chad, film. let me tell you, this isn't made for the big screen. But you, you, you know, Chad, let me tell you, you got a great production. I mean, the audio is great, the quality of video is great. Okay, the, 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 all the elements that you have in in your cake is a good food it's good ingredients okay it's top quality the only thing is in the execution i mean something that people sometimes you know they like to show off their little uh, skills in uh, to different artistic editing sometimes in this type of topic what i would suggest since this is not like some sort of independent movie for some sort of festival this is about go straight to the information uh, little less uh, uh, slow times could be much more well received that's my only opinion i tell you that because i know a lot of people like the products but they always say hey, could be nice that uh, you get a little faster there we don't need to watch all these uh, five seconds or four seconds between and i know you can do and you just get this as a uh, productive and constructive critic but i love the stuff you're doing and and i appreciate what you're doing by the way uh, before i let you go you know i i we speak a lot here about guns and different things and training but normally I don't talk enough, honestly, uh, about body armor. And I'm glad you're the guy because I always say, when I bring you people here, I want to bring you good quality stuff. And you're not a sponsor, but I'm just bringing you because I want people to have a chance to buy what they need. Uh, please, uh, if somebody wants to start to have the basic body armor for their basic you know, gear, carrying like an AK-47 or an AR-15 platform, uh, what we got, uh, affordable stuff, what is the basic package you can recommend? So I, I'll be happy to talk about that. Um, it, we've, we've probably got some people that are thinking, hey, I don't need body armor. That's not part of my plan. But, but let me tell you my philosophy is if you've purchased a gun and you've purchased it for self-defense, mm -hmm. if you, I think that body armor should be part of that plan. It fits into it. Why? If you think you're going to be shooting at somebody, somebody's probably going to be shooting back at you. Exactly. And if somebody's going to be shooting back at you, you need to have some sort of cover and protection and, and body armor is one of those ways to mitigate the threat and provide additional protection for you. So body armor that we sell is designed and modeled after the special forces body armor that the United States military uses. Um, it's not what you see the regular infantry guys that are covered from head to toe with groin protection and shoulder protection and all that stuff. What we're basically doing is we're winnowing it down to the uh, upper torso. So you've got chest protection that covers your vitals your heart and your lungs, front and back. We also sell side armor. Um, a basic package that we've got is going to cost under $400. We've got a, a package that includes front and back body armor with a vest, with magazine pouches, that like for an AR-15 or something like that, um, and a first aid kit, a tactical IFAC that's got a, tr that's got a tourniquet, blood clot, all the stuff in there that you're going to need. And it's, it's under $400 for all of that. So it's in my opinion, it's very, very affordable. Um, you're going to spend $1,000 setting your rifle up. Half of that for your body armor and all of the accessories that you're going to get with it, I think is a great deal. Infidelbodyarmor.com, we're one of the few companies that do offer a lifetime warranty. All of our body armor is manufactured in the United States, and um, we have next-day shipping. Any order over $100 ships for free, and we get it to you as quickly as possible. Uh, I think it's a great value and a, a veteran company that you can trust. And very good. And, you know, people understand, you know, this type of um, plaques that we have inside, what type of, uh, you know, that different type of protection. Can you give just uh, the basics, what type of protection level they get? Sure. Sure. Yeah, there's three different types, um, three main types. Uh, police officers that you see walking around day to day, they wear Kevlar. It's sometimes concealed underneath their uniform, sometimes it's on the outside, but basically an aramid-type material, um, one of the big names is Kevlar. That armor is designed to stop only pistols. As of today, you're about a million times more likely to be shot with a pistol than you are with a rifle. Now, when it hits the fan and all hell breaks, uh, excuse me, I don't know if you need to edit that, but when it all breaks loose, um, <laughs> and when it hits the fan, mm -hmm. um, I believe that rifles are going to rule the day. 
just like in the military, we don't we don't shoot with pistols. We don't we don't give pistols to our infantry. We give them rifles, and um, you're going to want to stop a rifle round. So your Kevlar that the police officers are wearing, that's not going to stop a rifle. That's considered level three A, level two, or level three A. Mm-hmm. And and you to get to the rifle protection, you got to move up to the next level. That's level three or level four. Mm. Um, there's a couple different materials that can stop it. One of them is ballistic steel. That's one of the things that launched our company. Uh, was a ballistic steel. It's the same steel that they use to armor up Humvees and APCs in the military. You can they even use them as targets. So wow. a lot of steel targets are made from ballistic steel, AR-500, AR-550. Mm-hmm. Um, they're strong. You can shoot them and shoot them and shoot them, and they'll just repel bullets all day long. Great. Um, we have a lightweight level three as well. These will stop the M855, the AK-47, pretty much any any round out there. Um, they're lightweight. Um, it's a hybrid between Kevlar and ceramic. It, it kind of mixes the two. And then the last one is level four. That's the highest level that you can buy right now. Um, it will stop an armor piercing 30 out six. That's what has to be rated to. Wow. To stop that armor piercing. So to get the highest level, level four, it's still very affordable. About, you know, for the whole vest and everything, you're looking at under $600. Um, but to get your foot in the door, you can start with level three. If you feel like you need to upgrade, you can spend about $100 more to get the level four. So exactly. it's, it's really. Those are the types of uh, armor that are available. How many I pounds? How many? A level three or a level four? But Chad, how many pounds, uh, for example, for a level three, uh, the two plaques? You know, because they kind of uh, they can be a little heavier. How many pounds we're we talking here for the old gear? Well, I'll, I'll give you a range, and it really it depends on what sort of armor that you're getting. But you can go from about twelve and a half pounds for the whole vest, front and back plates, mm-hmm. uh, up to about twenty-two pounds wow. front and back, all the way around. So um, it depends on what type of armor you put in it. The ballistic steel plates, like we, like I mentioned, the ones that people use as targets, those are the heaviest. They're also the cheapest. Mm-hmm. Um, the next level, um, level four, those are about a pound lighter. So you're not, it's not that much heavier, but they weigh about nine pounds per plate. The, uh, the level four plates are about four, excuse me, about eight pounds per plate. And then our lightweight plates that are level three plus, uh, those weigh in at about four and a half pounds. Wow. So, and we've got different sizes too. Um, you know, if you're a smaller person or a woman, we've got smaller plates for for you that are going to weigh in the 11 to, to 12 pound range. Um, and for the bigger guys, you know, obviously you're going to need a little bit bigger plate, but you should be stronger to be able to carry it. Overall, that weight between 12 pounds and 22 pounds is very doable. Um, our, our military right now, when they put on a vest, when they load up all of their ammunition and everything, the water and all that, they're, they're pushing 40 pounds. Wow. So, um, you gotta be physically fit. This isn't for the person that's, um, you know, out of shape or, or ill or, you, you know, you gotta be physically fit to be able to be a fighter. Um, fighting in the military is a young man's game. But it's a fitness thing. And, and, and fitness is another area I didn't think we touched on yet, but, to be prepared, you need to be physically fit. Running is tough. Shooting and running and getting down and getting up and getting down and getting up. And you're, you're going to be out of breath before you know what happens. And you need to be physically fit in order to uh, survive. Even if you get shot, a person who is fit is more likely to recover than a person who is unfit. Exactly. Um, you're exactly. just going to be a healthier person. You're, gonna, you're more likely to recover faster and survive whatever happens to you. You deal with stress better, too, when you're physically fit. A person who's out of shape, drinks soda every day and hamburgers and blah, 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 mm-hmm. they're going to have a lot more stress and deal with stress a lot worse than a person who's physically fit, running, exercising every day. I agree. No, this is so important because if you're serious about that, uh, you cannot just think that you're watching TV all day and that you dream that you become a rumble when the, the, the situation happens. You know, you got to really start to change your lifestyle. I'm not going to tell you what to eat or what type of workout, but you got to understand that the best thing you can start to do, uh, start to at least walk. Uh, around your block and uh, start to see if you can walk more than five miles. That would be a good start. Listen, I really appreciate you and I want to thank you again and please keep me posted and I hope the listeners understand this is an opportunity I want to share with you. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, everything's going to start and end here, ends here, but at least you have a starting point. 
document yourself, learn now these skills, communicate, create a network. And speaking about network, I want to say one thing. Uh, there is a website that I always talk on my site. I started this website. It's my website. It's free for everybody. It's a community. It's called freedomlovers.us. Freedomlovers.us. And it's not just for dating or find your best friend. It's also to find like-minded people who believe in freedom and they want maybe to network. So please don't miss this opportunity. This is my act of love for this show. Freedomlovers.us. No information really requests. You know, just the basic. No credit card. It's 100% free freedomlovers.us listen uh please keep me posted chad whenever you got new products and new items i really appreciate it okay all right thank you have a great day thank you very much and that was chad chad cooper and you're listening to love guns and freedom we look at zanna uh before i finish i want to say you know seriously the time is short i want to use these hours the best way i can and i dream you know if every law-abiding american who believes in freedom, would have a plan, would have some training, preparation, and uh, we would at least unite in this way. We could be accountable and nobody, no dictator, no invasion, no tyrant would ever take over, okay? No terrorist or whatever they want to create. We're never going to be taken over, but we need to prepare. We cannot just rely on the government to defend us at all. That's why I bring you this information. Now, also speaking about information and news, you know what's happening with Obama. I mean, uh, executive orders, I don't even want to waste too much time because at the end of the day, all we must understand is this, regardless where you are on the issues, regardless if you think that, uh, you know, you're a Democrat or Republican, if we still believe that we are under rule of law, okay, that we're supposed to have a republic where Congress makes the laws and then we can debate if they're right or wrong but now we are to a new level we have a man who is completely usurping his authority and uh, is getting to a new level that's what happens while, like when uh, you know julius caesar crossed the rubicon when he became a tyrant okay and that's exactly when mussolini marched on rome you know that's what's happening and if you're a democrat you should be very disturbed about this because these executive orders, I don't care how many tears this man is doing. I don't care how many times, you know, he's trying to tell you that after all, you know, because Congress is not going to do it, he must do it because the children need it. No, this is exactly the excuse of every tyrant. We are in this republic. Congress should pass law, the laws and Obama should enforce them. That's it. Not only Obama is not enforcing the laws, but also start to write them now. So think about it. What if next time is going to be a Republican president doing this stuff? And you know they're in this bed together. Republicans, Democrats, they're doing it together. Because if the Republicans let this happen, they know it. Because now it's creating a precedent for the next Republican president to do the same stuff. And maybe it can be even worse than worse. So it's time for you Democrats now to start to speak up. Regardless where you stand on the Second Amendment, understand what this guy is doing. is unconstitutional. It's tyrannical. And next is creating the president for the next president to do the same. And you may not like next time what the next president, executive order, unconstitutional executive order is going to be. So please, let's stop doing this party stuff. And let's understand that we're all under attack right now. I really mean it. Now, another thing very important. You know, other things are happening. I mean, you hear in Europe, women being raped during Christmas. I will talk about more next week. I want to bring my friend uh, from Germany. Tell us more. This is especially for the women, the ladies, or the weak people. That's why the gun is called the big equalizer. This is time, don't leave your gun at home if you have it. Especially if you live in the state of Arizona, don't think that your gun is at home and you can, it, things can happen to any one of us. But if you're a woman, you should be really concerned now more than ever. Obama is in bringing 100,000 you know, refugees from Syria. Look what happened in Cologne just uh, last week during the first of year, you know, the holidays. How many rapes in that night? And they were all from these refugees people. Okay? And don't get me wrong. I'm sure there are also decent people among them. But the point is, unfortunately, their background, the cultural background, these are single men. And they come thinking that they are still in the Middle Ages and they treat women like camels. That's the bottom line. So you need to start to realize that maybe in your community, you may be a target. And maybe not just from the refugees. We have also our local scumbags, don't get me wrong. But start to train. Because when now this situation, this critical situation is going to start to appear, the first people that are going to be suffering is going to be the weakest and the defenseless. So if you're a woman, if you're a 
person with you know some sort of handicaps or you're older and you're elder you better start to understand that, that you the gun is a big equalizer and you must not just own it but you must carry it lawfully whatever depends on which part of the world you live but if you're in arizona you have no excuses you should have the gun everywhere it's allowed in arizona okay that means almost everywhere and train okay remember that that's why i want you also remember this please go to my website handguntraining.tv i'm going to be ready next few weeks to release my book it's called handgun training for self-defense it's going to be only two dollars and 99 cents more than 100 pages with photos it took me almost two years to put it together and i'm not here to say that i'm an instructor but i'm a professional student that i know probably more than the average and everything i learn i share with you for the price of a coffee okay so go to handguntraining.tv join my newsletter and i'll let you know as the book is ready at least i can share that with you now speaking about sponsor uh, guys uh this show as you hear I me mean, the guy i have before the guest the chat cooper is not my sponsor and he can confirm that he's a guy that i believe he has a good product i wanted to share with you and i didn't want to deny you that opportunity to know this information because maybe he doesn't want to be my sponsor or not i don't know i don't care i wanted to bring you information first but i need to keep the show going I'm an independent producer. It takes me a lot of time to put all this information, finding the guest and produce this show. I could make, you know, much more better living at all. I mean, I don't need this show. I mean, I have my life, okay? But I dedicate this time for, for this cause. So if you want to support me, help me out. And you think the information I'm sharing with you is valuable, go to please Zanna, Z-A-N-N-A dot U-S. And you see, one of the things I do, I write songs and music. You can use any of my songs. Download any of my songs for just 99 cents. Even if you download a couple songs, couple dollars, I appreciate it. It's like you buy me a coffee and this money goes back into the show. Now, be ready for our number three. Great information and much more love. You're listening to Love, Guns and Freedom with Luca Zan. Here we go. Check it. 